Got the chick I call it Lola She feel like the ocean Like to drink and smoke some Doja And I feel like smoking Plus she good at charming what is going on you guys, it's your boy Ferg here coming back with another Clash Royale video and today I've got, before we go into the pushing video, I just want to show you guys this little idea I had in my head. I got my buddy Liam to hook me up with the graphics for the idea that I had and basically I think that this should be implemented into Clash Royale, you've probably seen it in the thumbnail of the video. So what it actually is, is the ability to downgrade cards for half the gold that you previously used to actually upgrade them. Of course, you lose all the cards that you used when upgrading them, but you get some money back if you don't use that card anymore. So as you can see on screen right now, that is what it would kind of look like if you were able to downgrade cards from say level 10 to level 9, level 13 to level 12. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think this should be implemented into the game? Or do you guys think that this is a really, really dumb idea? Make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys think that this is a good idea or whether it's a bad one. Also, if you guys want to see more graphics like this where I kind of do at the start of my videos, of the start of my pushing videos, comment that down below as well because if you guys really, really like this kind of stuff where I just kind of talk to you about ideas that I have in my head uh, where I get my buddy Liam to actually create them in a graphics way for you guys to actually visualize them in your head, then leave a like down below and also put a comment and if you guys like it and I see a lot of comments saying it, I will make sure to implement more stuff like this in the start of my pushing videos. So without further ado guys, let's just go ahead straight away, show you my deck. It's the same generic mortar deck that I've been running for about, I don't even know, I, I was running a deck like this but I had skeletons instead of goblins for about like 5 months and now that the skeletons got nerfed again, I switched over to the little goblins right there and I'm really really still liking the deck, the deck is awesome still. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into a ladder match here and yeah make sure to comment down below if you want to see more ideas like that and more actual graphics from Liam showcasing my ideas that I have for Clash Royale in the future. So we're playing against a guy called Zyra or Zyra, I'm not really sure how to say that, it's a Spanish name. He is level 12 so we should be able to come out with a dub right here. As per usual as soon as I see a level 12 I'm always expecting a dub. Oh wow our archer, our archer actually died to that Dark Prince right there, that was a bit unfortunate for us. Bit of a bad play, not gonna lie. Yeah, it's looking alright, it's looking alright. I might use my goblins here to protect against my princess, yeah I'm gonna do that. Oh that was actually a really bad play because now he's got Hog Rider coming down on our tower. But, I am gonna go- Oh, that mortar was one, two up! I was trying to put that mortar one, one space back. Oh, that's, that's gonna be, this is gonna be dodgy, guys. This is gonna be dodgy, especially against those bats. Our mortar should be able to get one more hit off. Yeah, that's very, very tasty right there. And then his knight is obviously gonna come down on our left side right there, but our princess should be able to help the tar, and then the knight will not get any hits on our tar, which is pretty, pretty awesome right there. Also, guys, if you guys didn't know and you haven't seen my, uh, videos recently, where I've actually talked about going to college, I am in college right now, so that's why you're getting the same video uh, kind of, well, not the same video, but the same kind of style of video. I usually like to switch it up every single day. Like, have a pushing video one day, have a top five the next day, have like a ladder, or a, uh, sorry, not a ladder, a challenge video, or just something random every single day. But we have two videos coming out of the same kind of genre. That is just because I have been at school and at college, I guess. It's a more actual exact term for it. For the past, I don't know, I guess I started like last week or something like that. So I've been there for about a week now, and it's actually so, so good. It's like, not gonna lie, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I hear a lot of people talking a lot of trash on college, but personally, my opinion so far, it's been a lot, a lot of fun, but I just don't have a lot of time at the minute, but hopefully in the week after this, the workload goes down a little bit, and I will have enough time to obviously make loads of different videos every single day. I'll be able to, like, keep my content fresh for you guys, so yeah, that, that will obviously that will obviously help us boost my channel and keep the content fresh and stuff like that. I'm gonna put the mortar down there at the top, and hopefully that should be able to provide us with some de defense and offensive purposes. As you can see, the, the um, the Dark Prince is coming down here. I'm going to log that back so it doesn't charge. Hopefully. Oh, it's still going to charge. <laughs> what a waste of a log, guys. Am I right? Okay, so I'm just going to go like boom. Ooh, look at this value rocket right here. Is it going to get all three? Yes, it is. Okay, so value rocket right there. Going to go ahead and put the princess down on the right side. And then I'm going to put the mortar over here. The Dark Prince is going to go for my mortar, which is really good play for us. Going to pop the goblins beside the Dark Prince right there. The bats are obviously going to go for it. And then my um, fire spirits are going to clear up the bats so that the mortar gets another hit, which is absolutely awesome. So now he is within 
one or no two rockets i believe of killing of me actually beating him right here or getting that tar at least but it looks like he's gonna take this oh this oh damn yeah yeah that's gg guys so this guy actually comes up victorious level 12 okay so that was a really good play by him not gonna lie so yeah gg to this guy zyra that was a very good game i didn't actually expect my tar to be that low so wow okay so gg gonna go ahead and get straight into the next match here so i'll see you guys in just a second all right guys so after being beat by that level 12 right there i'm kind of embarrassed not gonna lie guys my skills are dropping because i haven't been playing playing much this uh this i guess season i guess i haven't been playing that much this season so we're gonna see if we can plug the w here against this level 12 from a legendary clan and he just dropped a mortar right at the back right there so that just calls for an absolute rocket straight in the tar because he is if he's only using the mortar as his main offense that means he's used his only offensive troop already on the defense which is a really really dumb move right there we'll see what he has to play now He's obviously got the archers coming up. I think this guy could have a very, very similar deck, if not the same deck to me. Yeah, it's a similar deck. It's the one with the ice spear and the arrows. Okay, so he's got bats on instead of goblins, I think. I think that's what he has on anyway. And he's going to go ahead and rock it. Okay, so that is, that is, I don't know. That's an interesting play. It's a very interesting play right there. Our mortar is going to target the tar right there because he placed his mortar in a very, very bad position. Um, going to go ahead and put the archers right there to protect my mortar and probably put the goblins. Oh, that, I think the, yeah, the, okay, so that's going to target my mortar which is kind of annoying not gonna lie but it's like two logs two rockets away from actually killing that tar already which is awesome so i can probably cycle him out of rockets as soon as we reach one or one minute remaining i will cycle him out with rockets and then that will be gg yeah that's all gucci that's all gucci he was gonna drop an ice with our ice spirit right there anyway so it's all good it's all good Right, so I might drop another a log right here just to deal with the archer, but I'm not too sure. We'll see. I'm going to wait until I reach 10 election before I do it. Yeah, I'm just going to do it now. I'll log that back. So now we are within two rockets of actually killing this guy's tar right here, which is awesome. Going to put the defensive mortar down as he's just dropped the offensive mortar. Uh, the archer is going to die to our tar. Not before. Oh, so our mortar actually targeted the mortar. That's awesome. So this is a, yeah, this is GG guys. This is this is definitely a GG easy win right here against this guy. He obviously has way lower cards than me and he is a level 12. So I guess what else can you expect really in this kind of um in this kind of situation for this guy? He's obviously um got the short straw here in terms of levels. I'm gonna go ahead and log that back, then put a defensive mortar down. Then also, okay, so this could be bad if I didn't get the ice spirits right. Okay, I got the fire spirits right. Why did I say ice spirits? I'm such a noob. Right, so we're gonna put the knight down for the uh, for his knight. His knight's obviously level 12, giving us that level advantage right there awesome awesome gonna put the archer down right here oh this could be this could be dodgy guys this could be extremely dodgy uh, oh wow okay so i'm playing like a noob right now hoping that okay so this is dodgy i don't believe he's gonna get too many hits off with that mortar he's probably gonna get another two maybe with that mortar right there i've got the um the knight down in the defense unfortunately for him that's gonna really help me out oh he got the nice little predictive log right there but that's not gonna be enough to save him let's go ahead and throw up the mortar bm right there hit him with a smiley face hit him with a laughing face because you know i don't play the clash royale by the rules of the other youtubers i bm when i want to bm man i don't care what any other clash royale player says bm's in it for a reason like the emotes are in the game to rile up your opponent to get them angry to get them sad you know what i mean they're in the game for a reason of course i hate being bm'd but bro i love the bm why did i get a bomb tar there that's so annoying bomb tar is literally my least used rare card let me see what level my bomb tar is is it level like seven i think all my cards are tournament standard right yeah level eight wow i upgraded the level eight wow okay so, did wait did that say a thousand okay so i have a thousand two hundred bomb tars i didn't even realize that so let's go ahead and get into game number three all right guys so we're playing against gary R our first level 13 of today's video and probably the last level 13 of today's video from hitman never heard of this clan and never heard of this guy probably obvious that i've never heard of these people because i'm down so low right now and these guys are all really low usually when i get into about the top 1000 or something like that i usually kind of know everyone around there so you kind of get a notion for what people are actually playing uh, so as soon as you play against them you're kind of like you know what they're playing so like when people play against me they already know that they're probably going to get mortar if they're in the top 1000 and they played me again or they played against me before oh so that is tasty right there please 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 log. go 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 nice okay so this is awesome if he drops the bats oh what did i just say guys what did i just say if he drops the bats and i put the fire spirits down just just in time got the knight right here cover from the knight oh so he's not going to drop the knight he's going to drop those archers going to get the princess to lock onto those princess is going to get two shots off on the archers i think the archers are going to get one hit okay so the archers aren't even going to get a hit right there that's awesome awesome um princess okay so what the print what's a princess doing man that was annoying a uh, princess locked on the tar. Uh, one more shot from the princess, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm gonna go like this and then like that. 
Probably, yeah, I'm just gonna save up for the mortar now. Um, the mortar is coming down right here. Hopefully he doesn't have rocket or fireball, because that would be extremely annoying. Mortar's locked onto his tar. We only need one more rocket as soon as this mortar's done. One more rocket will seal the deal for us. Yep, there you go. Last mortar shot in needed for the last rocket. My rocket does 717 damage, and that is basically GG to this guy. Not really too sure what I'm gonna- I'm just gonna drop fire spirits on him, man, because there's not really much else I can actually do. And then I'm gonna go and apply pressure on the other lane right here. He's probably gonna drop bats to counter my princess, not gonna do anything about them. Yep, there the bats are, predicting them. Uh, level 13 bats, so he has max bats. He has actual higher level bats than I do. I think my bats are like level 10 or something like that. I don't really upgrade bats, so that's probably why they're such a low level. I'm sure if I upgraded them, they would be like level 12 or something like that, but I don't know. Never really find a use for bats so far in this game. Like, they're all right, but there's just, I don't know. I like goblins better, you know what I mean, Jellybean? Of course, we are going to get that log down. Then I'm going to put the defensive mortar down. And he's obviously got the bats again, bro. This guy is cycling bats hard. Okay, so that was a good play fireball on that. From him. Bap bap. Gonna probably kill this uh, hog before it gets anywhere close to our tar. Yes, we are. Very nice indeed. He's put the defensive cannon down. Probably not the best play. Uh, considering there's still 900 HP left on my tar. And yeah, that's gonna be GG for that, I guess. For uh, that tar, I guess. And of course, his knight's coming down. Not really gonna do too much here. He just did fireball absolutely nothing. Unless he has a rocket. Or unless he has another good spell right here, I think this is GG right here because his fireball obviously does not do 600 damage. I'm pretty sure his fireball, if he had two of them, would do 600 damage, but he only has one in cycle right now and it is only going to do at least... The max fireball does 333 and the chances of this guy having a max fireball are pretty slim. So yeah, that was GG right there. That was a really, really easy game for us, not gonna lie. It turns out we lost against the level 12 and then we won against the level 12 and then we won against a level 13, which is awesome, guys. Awesome puzzle. Let's see where we where we are at. We are definitely not in the top ten thousand right now yet. So we are way way off the top ten thousand. Maybe by next pushing episode, which will probably come out around Friday, maybe Saturday's time, because I'm going to obviously switch up the content throughout the week. I don't really want to do the same video over and over again, because I know you guys might find that a little bit stale. Even though you love this series, and you seem to give it really, really positive reviews, I'm not going to upload it every single day, because that will obviously become stale. So if you guys did go on to enjoy this latter pushing episode, make sure to leave a like down below, and also comment down below about what I said in the intro, about those ideas, about the... um downgrading the card and getting half the gold back but losing the cards think tell me what you guys actually think about that because i think that would be a really really good addition to the game it would help a lot of people get cards that they actually want to get upgraded upgraded like say you upgraded the bomb tar back when you used to play it like when i used to play bomb tar way back when i actually used to be good i've got a level 8 bomb tar right now and all i want to do is get gold from it you know what i mean level 8 bomb tar is never going to be used it's obviously really really bad so they kind of need to rework that card i guess so yeah make sure to leave a comment down below what you th thought about about the uh, downgrading for gold kind of uh, idea update concept I guess and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed today's video leave a like comment subscribe if you're new turn on the notifications to join the hashtag Ferg fam and without further ado let's roll the outro